So, welcome to part 3. Um, today a little bit shorter video, I don't have much time, so I'm not doing a stream. Um, so, I want to actually... I, I, I fixed the tests yesterday, so they all pass now. You can see this like, works. I like wrote a couple of them, like I like with this schema I reload every single one. Uh, then I reload them, like a bunch of them uh, at once and see so what, what happens, right? Uh, and it seems all right. I also simplified some code. I turned, put some documentation in there, like the boring stuff to just clean up. I put some transient structures as well to, for some speed, which I'm not sure we're going to need, but maybe, maybe, maybe. So, yeah. And uh, what I want today is actually to try to load and unload a namespace, right? Um, so I want to see this working, basically. So let's 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 try. Uh, what we're going to do is um, is going to reload.clg uh, let's use a single view and there is uh, yeah this is there is one, this one remove leap uh, which is like find namespace hook this is my code actually remove an s uh, which is yes exists right remove namespace name by symbol use with caution can't be used to remove the caution of space Okay, and then it uh, actually removes, so it's like very simple. Uh, you do this. Wait, why do we have, ah, yeah, this is my doing, okay. And so basically we need to do this and we need to do this, right? Closure core, load it leaves, disjoint, uh, so it's called not a leap but ns, like this. Okay, and then we have uh, ns load. Uh, and ns load is actually just this. Oh. Ah, so if it fails to Okay, so there is tricky, tricky thingy, right? Um, track reload one, record track reload one. Okay, interesting. So it, it looks at, uh, it's like has two queues. So what to unload and what to load. And if it starts to load, um, it fails, it unloads it kind of. Uh, we're not going to, to handle any errors yet. Um, we're going to do this. Cage probably throwable T. Uh, we just print. print T, I guess. Okay. Um, Oh, two, three, six. Ah. Huh. Okay, 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 so tests now fail because we don't include the, the fixtures there. But we can work with that, we can actually do this, restart, right, connect, reload. Tests now work, okay, cool. Uh, but now, it actually does loading and reloading, so hmm, how cool is it?
not sure about this one, but it's probably important, right? There might be actually, you know, alter. Okay, so let's go to core CLG alter. Okay. I can probably use this instead. No. Wait, what? Hmm. Why doesn't this work? It's the same. I mean, what do you mean? Oh, the loaded lips itself is a ref. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, then then it makes sense. Yeah, then it makes sense. Of course. I I was I I, I thought we are changing like um, as a var. Okay, I don't like. My sublime looks. Let me do it real quick. Uh -huh. Yeah, now I like it more. It's because uh, when sometimes when you switch between dark and, and bright schemes, it's um, something doesn't work. Okay, uh, so it kind of works. Um, I'm not sure what, what's the next step is actually. Uh, we can try, you know what, we can try go to... Uh, let's, let's actually open new window, right? Um, let's go to humble UI, like here. Let's go to depths. Uh, what we want here is actually CLG reload. We want to use user stone skin VS CLG reload, right? Right. And there is like a little bit of pain in the ass because because I have this Python script that runs everywhere, but it's like I should I should do something about it. Okay, so um, users don't give us reward to see. So this one, and we have a library called duty. We want to include that, right? And this one doesn't have any other dependence. So it's just closure itself, yeah. Okay, so this might work. Let's see. No, something didn't. Conflicting data reader mapping. Okay, yeah, we can work with that. We can work with that. Um, yeah, data readers, let's just do this. Okay, humble UI started, right? So it's, it's in here, but we don't really care. I, I will show you, uh, no, I will not show you, but uh, yeah, I will show you the window, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is we go to user, and we want this, okay, so there is going to be a command form. Uh, this is, it's going to say uh, CLG reload core as reload, right? That's the first thing, okay, it's the first thing that we're going to do. 
The second is uh, reload set dears. Uh, it's exactly like this, right? Uh, but it accepts this. And now reload, uh, reload. Okay, let's go. And basically nothing happened, which is fine. That's how it is supposed to do. Now let's go to label example, save the file, go to the bottom one and click reload. Okay, so here's what happened. So it unloaded user. Uh, which is not great because the user is namespace we do this. We do the same. Right? It unloaded examples. It loaded examples.label. Loaded exa examples.label again. Uh, loaded examples and loaded user. Uh, then yeah it has some get layer what? Yeah this doesn't matter really. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's one area that might be improved. Okay, but uh, no, 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 really, uh, let's, 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 let's do it proper. Okay, so this sta says static. Let's say blah, blah, right? Say uh, blah, blah, save, uh, click reload, no such namespace reload, set dears. Uh, no, I shouldn't have. Okay, okay, I messed up. Sorry. Um, let's do this again. Boom. So now it doesn't touch user because I didn't change user. Oh, yeah, it touched user because I changed user, but yeah, it shouldn't. So now it's just unloaded examples, uh, which is like shared namespace. It unloaded label, then it loaded label and loaded examples. Uh, let's see. It doesn't still, still doesn't say much because there is actually some machinery here. Yeah, we should do this actually. Uh, I mean, I do it with tools and space as well. Okay. Yeah, now it says static blah, blah, blah. Boom. Um, boom. Um, bam, bam, bam. All right. Let's, we can actually try this again. So let's say we put this in do because this happens together. Um, we, s we remove blah, blah as it was. We do just do reload, right? And it touches user again, which we will handle in a second, but blah, blah is gone. So it kind of works, uh, which is amazing in my opinion. Don't you think? I think it is amazing actually. So we were like, we were this close last time from, from actually get it working. I mean, we have tools namespace at our hand and it's uh, what? Two, 250 lines of code. Uh, how much is, uh, let's go to, okay. Terminal is black now. Uh, let's go to, oh, why is it black? Uh, no way. No way I'm going to know. Uh, VS tools namespace. Right, and it ten times more about. We, we shouldn't, uh, it probably has tests in here. Right, main, like this. Yeah, without tests, it's, uh, it's 1,012. 1,200, they would say. And we have 250, so like five times more, right? Uh, yeah. Five times more. Cool. Uh, I mean, we have five times. Let's say have five times more. Of course, we don't handle shit. <laughs> uh, so of course, wait. Is my camera? No, it doesn't. Um, we don't handle errors. We don't. Yeah, if something doesn't work, we don't handle excludes. We don't handle lots of stuff. But I still think it's impressive. Um, I should actually commemorate this moment for the future. Yeah, okay, 
Um, uh, let's go in stage, stage, right? Actual remote works or hook in actual loading. loading. Boom. How cool is that? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm already happy. Um, I, I can, in fact, I mean, if we add hooks that like forbid from, um, the, like basically say, hooks that say, don't touch this namespace. We are, we are golden, actually, we are golden. I think it's called disabled. Um, not sure how to proceed with it, but I think yeah, we can we can do that, right? We can, we can do that. We can go actually in, you know, yeah. Let's let's do that. Like, why not? I mean, uh, we're so close. So there's parse namespace form, right? Um, no, that's not what we need. Yeah, no, wait, read file symbol to namespace. Okay, so it reads file and reads all the namespace. Namespace is a type, uh, okay, so this is about time when we switch to two-sided layout. Okay, uh, this is helper that helps us remi rem remember what is what. So we can put uh, disabled here. Bool, right? Kind of like this, right? Uh, so we can just uh, see So right now we return, oh no, 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 this is all right. Current namespace, all right. Current namespace is, result is. So if we find this tag, we start a soc result name body, because we parse the body, right? Parsing this body, parsing this form. Mm. Aha, aha, aha. So we, we basically go with disabled here and we go with disabled meta name, right? Uh, and it's actually CLG reload disabled, like this. And we have a garbage truck right under my window because you're streaming it's you're, you're supposed to have a garbage truck when you stream right or something like that let me make this a little bit like this and so i can see what's going on okay so if we do this uh we do result whatever right um Actually, two type of flags in um, tools namespace. Uh, one of them is 
to disable unload and one of them is disable load. Let's, let's actually see how how it's solved in there. I don't really remember. Um, we need to uh, remove this, uh, I think it's called remove disabled, yes. Uh, and load disabled. Oh, so you're supposed to say like load false or unload false. Let's say load and unload, right? And I think load should be reload and unload should be unload. And uh, yeah, yeah, one, one more final thing. So this has to be on the namespace, actually. Um, let's check at runtime, actually. Huh, interesting. But maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Why is it far, far, why is it looked up at runtime? Okay, let me check uh, real quick because I, I have namespaces that are like disabled to load, right? So one of the reasons is like this, because we don't want like this is really convenient, right? You just call this and it sets it like on your current namespace that like no. Uh, you can also call it dynamically or something something. Uh, that's why it looks it on the live namespace instead of the like metadata from this. Okay, so yeah, but another one is is like this, and uh, this is what you define. So mine would be CLG reload no reload no load. Right. Oh. Oh, I guess yeah, it's no load. No load sounds slow. Uh, so I like this more a little bit because you don't have to use the full map form. Um, right. Right. This the track is really persistent. It never happened at this time. Like why today? <laughs> why not in any other day? Um, Yeah, so yeah, we're gonna look at it live na namespace actually, like, because okay, let's then uh, remove this, right? We don't need to know this in advance, actually. Um, so okay, so okay, so okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Uh, let uh, even even better. When this is a set, right? Yeah, it's sort of set. What is commune? Commute. I wonder. The same as alter, right? Uh, 
。哦。So commute, commute, but okay, whatever. It still has to be inside the transaction. Yeah, okay, whatever. So when uh, this set contains our namespace, let um, we want this. Yeah, we need, we want find an S actually. What we want is we want uh, find an S actually NS. I know. I, I don't know what the syntax for is like let's call it an S obj, right? Um, Okay, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, so if it's there, um, So we decided at this point, right? Uh, so if it has this meta information, uh, we do this. Um, hmm. With load, it's tricky though. Like, what? How do we know if we should load something? How does CLJ, whatever, knows it? Yeah, so, um, okay, that's a trick. I mean, I'm trying to be, to be pedantic here. So the trick about this is, if you want, if you want to know whether you want something to load, you you can only tell it when it's already loaded which is actually uh, huh. and you have to check it in advance so like you cannot do it in this function because uh, when this function is call, called by this point we already unloaded like everything right hmm Hmm. So we must do this before unloading everything. And this actually comes comes down to huh. I mean, if there is...
So if it's it's no load, it's, it, no load implies no unload actually. Um, so one way we can do this is by specifying exclusions actually, and this is what I wanted to do. Okay, so maybe set dears can be like this. Then in user we can actually do this, right? Um, let's do yeah, let's do exclude real quick. Exclude an SS reset state uh well actually swap state a sock exclude set NSS, right? Well, it's actually not, uh, it's actually intos. It's actually update, exclude intos. So like exclude more, right? Uh, so this would mean something like reload, exclude uh, user and exclude uh, this, this one, example state. Right. Uh, but uh, we also need to actually to do this, right, this load. Um, we do something when not exclude state contains exclude state uh, ns right and exclude means what exclude to load not to unload right let's do like boss for now <laughs> let's 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 just handle load right um. Okay, uh, seems about right. Um. So we do this, right? Uh, when not okay. Let's reload. Uh, leap two, three, four. Okay, folks, uh, we don't have time to write tests right now, but we can do, we can restart this one. MBUI, boom, let's go to label. And one of the tests is, uh, of this thing is that we stay on label. So if you saw, we started at slider, right? I switch here, so it's important that we keep the state when we are switched to. Okay, um, so, okay. Require set refresh years set excludes. Did set excludes? Uh, we don't know. Um, do reload. Nothing changed. Uh, static boom boom boom. Do reload. Boom. Uh, okay, so remove this. Update this, update this, do reload. Okay, so something broke. Um, what broke? No such far, CX, TX, TX field. Okay, so it decided to go to... This is com broke completely, so... Oh, no, 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 this is previous. 
execution tree, right? So it actually triggered, so the state is used by everything. So whenever we update, yeah, we need, we need to change the like. Okay, uh, I don't have time to do this right now, but yeah, we'll go back to this. So the logic is wrong. So basically what we ended is, this is not enough. Uh, we need to actually filter much earlier. Kind of sorted dependies, right? There is change in the NSS. We, we, we have to filter this actually. Okay, let me see. Uh, no, when not contains excludes, right? So, so we don't consider na ch namespace, we don't consider change. And we also, if we somehow go into it, with, uh, okay, so this should work actually. Okay, let's see, uh, let's, let's check real quick, right? Um, boom, join, uh, go here, require, nothing happens, uh, save, nothing happens save yeah yeah it works look okay okay no no it works cool uh <laughs> so yeah real quick fix fix uh we can check uh, label again the, the stuff that we were doing save here reload see that label updates change back. So I'm say, saying state, for example, changing it even. Um, eval and state is not affected, right? Because it's like a namespace that was excluded. And in fact, um, in fact, maybe I like it even more. I mean, this, this way, because it is like, it's not here, basically. So the, the way I don't like about this approach is my perfectly nice namespace, right? Has this ugly string in it that actually has no meaning in production. So like why, I mean, it's only for development, but this is production, part of production. Well, this is not, but like it could be, right? Uh, and I don't want to pollute my namespaces with this. So I find this approach much cleaner. So maybe we, we go without uh, this meta space nonsense at all, right? Okay, so let's actually... So we don't need this then. Well, I'm keeping this um, for reasons that I will show you later. Uh, it's actually, we are actually going to use names, uh, meta information, and I, okay, spoiler alert. Okay, I, I will show you why we are going to use it. So for this, um, so this is actually, it it can have the same argument can be made about this part, right? I don't like it, and this is basically the same. We we put some uh, a little bit of. Um, um, uh, how do you say, a little bit of code that is only relevant to debug, to dev, to build, no, no, not in production, right? But this is much more convenient. So basically this unload hook. So it says before you unload this namespace, do this, right? And this is much more convenient because you already have all the vars like defined in this namespace. Theoretically, I could put it here, but I can't like reference like this app, for example, without going through like resolve or whatever. So yeah, this is less than perfect. Uh, I also don't really sh sure that we should go with like metadata metadata approach. Maybe we should go with like just special method def on, you know, CLJ reload before unload. If like if function like this exists, we just call it. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure, uh, but um, 
for now, let's say we support excludes, right? And yeah, and also let me update this diagram real quick. So disabled is not really a thing, but uh, we have dears exclude, and it's a set of symbol like this. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Uh, let's commit this. Uh, so we support support exclude set dears set dears accepts var var args like this right and also we don't try to uh, yeah, okay, we are. This is fine. It doesn't deserve a comment. We can actually even change it a little bit, you know. Um, I don't really like we can do a function called excluded contains this percent, okay, and call we can call it included even. So it contains here because this could be nil, so yeah. Test for this, though, but okay, let's, let's put somewhere in here. Dev test, script test, and we'll say to do. Okay, um, I am more or less happy with this approach. Let's let's check real quick. <laughs> so maybe I changed something. Uh, without test, it's really hard to be sure, you know. So there's examples, there's labels, there's was some namespace, like window, I think, if I change this, no, no, this, this one, uh, it triggers everything, yeah. And now it's like, it's... Uh, but this is because we don't, yeah, this is for, for different reason. Uh, so this is also a thing that I want to fix with um, uh, tools namespace. So basically you have a bunch of files on disk, you load some, so Clojure doesn't load everything. Clojure loads like specifically, like if you reference this file, this namespace, it will load a file with it, right? If, it do, if you don't, it doesn't. But tools namespace, just loads everything, like everything it can find in disk. On disk, it like it will try to load everything in a correct order, mind you. But but everything. So uh, what I don't wa what I want to change is that if you never loaded some file, don't try it now, right? So basically, only operate in files that user has explicitly loaded, not on everything else. So this is a change I want to make. But uh, again, this is for future reference. So did I make a commit? No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, boom. I did. Okay. Uh, so yeah, again, as I said, a quick video. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.